Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you about something that's been weighing on my heart and mind for the past week, and that is how do I stay focused and extremely productive in my business when I'm either just not feeling it or I've mentally checked out? Now, this has come up for me because I'm about to go on a pretty big vacation that I've been planning for literally a year, and I am just ready to go. I'm ready to put my work down and to be on that beach with a frou-frou drink in my hand. But the problem is that I have three weeks till I leave and I really need to be focused during this time on taking care of my clients, getting, getting everything in order, and making sure that I do a lot of work now so that I can actually unwind and not have unfinished business when the time comes to leave for vacation. So how do, how do we do this? If you're anything like me, one of the biggest challenges in business is not necessarily what I do. I love what I do, I'm good at what I do, and I have a lot of experience. It's managing this person right here. And if my mental and emotional state is not on point, it makes it really hard to get things done. But I did create what I like to call a follow-through formula, and the goal with this is to help me move through these kind of periods where I'm not maybe as into it as I should be and just still stay focused and get all of the tasks that I need to get done done. So I'm going to share that with you because I think this is something that we all struggle with and hopefully if you don't have your own follow through formula you can just adopt mine and it'll make your life easier. So let's get into it. So step one is to review your calendar. Every Sunday I try to sit down and look at my upcoming week and make sure that I have everything scheduled in. All of my meetings, all of my appointments, all of my calls, they all go in so that I know exactly what I need to do that next week and I don't have to think about it on Monday morning. I can just hit the ground running. So this is a really important step to just kind of organize everything and get your head in the game the night before um, so that you, you wake up and you can go. So once I've done that, the next step is to establish five to seven priorities for the upcoming week. Now, these typically are not things that I need to get done for my clients. They're things that I need to get done to continue to move my business forward. So a lot of times they're marketing slash lead generation tasks, like filming these videos or scheduling an e-blast. So making sure that I have outlined these five things or seven things that I absolutely need to get done no matter what. So for me, I like to put these all in a project management tool called Asana. It's a free tool. I encourage you to check it out if you don't have a project management tool because it serves as a virtual checklist that I can have on my phone, I can have on my computer. It's in front of me all the time and I can easily check these things off and also send myself reminders that, hey girl, you got to get on this. So that has uh, been really key for me and really helped me continue to just stay focused and on track and not let things slip because when it's on my to-do list and I see it and I I want to check it off so it's like for me it's like oh I gotta get it done now it's on there like it's gonna haunt me if I don't so invest in a project management tool it'll make your life easier I believe my next step is to time block so go back to your calendar after you've established these priorities and really look at where you can time block 90 minutes within your week to make some progress in these um, on these tasks. So I like to do between one and three 90 minute sessions a week. Obviously the more you can do the better, um, but if you're crazy busy, if you're in the weeds, maybe just start with one 90 minute session, that's only an hour and a half. You can afford to dedicate that time to your business and the payoff will be so astronomically huge that you will just, you know, it's just worth it. So just trust me, do it. Um, so just making sure that you really have given yourself time to work on these things because it, let's face it, if it's not on our schedule, if it's not on our calendar and it's not time that we've reserved specifically distraction free for these tasks, it won't get done. It'll get pushed to the next week and the next week and the next week and so on. So this is, this step is really important. If I can stress anything, it's, it's time block. So after you've time blocked these out, then the fourth step is to set reminders for yourself. Like I've mentioned, if you use something like Asana, you can schedule it to send you emails and remind you. Um, maybe you don't want to use Asana and you want to use something else, whether it's post-its on your mirror or telling your husband to remind you. That's fine too, but just make sure that you have a reminder system set up so that these tasks pop up and they're in your face and you have to address them. That's key. And then the fifth and last step is to engage an accountability partner. I know some of you guys have coaches out there. Um, some of you are part of networking groups or you have mentors or friends that you go to for advice. Engage at least one person 
um, to really help you in these times where you're struggling. It, it's going to be such a huge benefit to you and really going to help you. There's something about telling somebody and making it public that just really kind of lights a fire under you and makes you take action. So for me, I'm a part of several networking groups, Para Hub, Connect for Success. That's where I go to be surrounded by positive energy and positive influences, other business owners who are super fired up, who are doing great things in their business and very proactive. I can go to any one of those women and say, hey, can you call and check up on me every other week and just make sure that I am really taking time to move these pieces of my business forward. So that's what I like to do because I think that that's really, um, it just adds that extra layer of accountability. And I think we all need that from, from time to time, right? So anyways, that's what I do. Those are my five steps. I'd love to hear if you guys have an accountability formula that works for you or if you're going to try these steps. I hope you do. Um, they've really helped me stay productive during this time where I'm tr getting ready to go on vacation. And I've got three more weeks to go. And I can't wait to share my vacation with all of you, by the way. So um, stay tuned. You'll see more of that. And thanks for watching.